Look, uh, Sylvester, I really hate to do this, and, and normally I wouldn't do this, but uh, Paul, Paul Schaefer, mm -hmm. is a, a really quite a fan of you and your work, and he asked me when he heard you were going to be on the show if it would be okay if, uh, you know, he w could meet you before the show. Oh, of course. Is that all right? Well, anytime, anytime. Yeah. Big such fan of yours, too. Thank you. This is such a thrill. You know, nobody <sighs> loves Rambo or Rocky as much as I do. Hey, well, would you thanks. mind doing one thing for me? I don't, know, I don't know if it's too we, much to ask. Would sure. you mind... Just punching Dave in the stomach oh, real, as hard as you can, oh, oh, like you did with Drago, you know, and Rocky. Would you really do that? I mean, like, don't bother him, please, Paul. You're embarrassing him. Seriously, like, you're embarrassing seriously him. I'm your guest, and if oh, you really want me to, I mean, be I mean, a really good one. Yeah. Okay. Hey, let him have it. This would be great. He's actually. Oh, that was fabulous. Thank you. That was great. Terrific. Paul, 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 I told you not to bother him. Out, roll the opening. Paul, I asked you. Uh, this is my next guest's first appearance on uh, this program. Uh, it's a pleasure to welcome him here with us, and uh, he has a new movie uh, soon to be out. It's called Stop or My Mom Will Shoot. It opens nationwide <laughs> on February 21st. Ladies and gentlemen, here he is, Sylvester Stallone. Good to see you. Yes. You know, it occurs to me, and, and, and I'm sorry to bring this up, but you must have guys trying you every minute of the day. And girls. <laughs> no, seriously, no, as a matter of fact, the first time I ever got, quote, sucker punched, yeah. I was uh, doing fist in uh, Iowa. I thought a very peaceful place, Dubuque, Iowa. And this girl comes up and she looks like Julie Andrews. She goes, I love your films. <laughs> I said, fine, she goes, I love your films. I love your films. I love <laughs> your film. And bang, she hits me a shot. I, I'm telling you, I saw birds. I saw my mother circling. <laughs> I saw a thing that was knocked back into childhood. So, uh, yeah, there are a lot of people that like to it's, I guess it's because, obviously, of the, some of the movies you've made. You, you, and, uh, <laughs> you, you play a fighter. Some of the movies you play just a tough guy. And, and everybody seems to think, and I guess after a couple of beers, I, I just, I'm going to find out how tough this guy is. This is true. This is true. Usually my ex-wives. Yeah! yeah that's a, boom! <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Uh, now, all right, I mentioned at the top of the program that this is the first time you've been here. Yeah. We've wanted to have you on for years and years and years, of course. Uh, your brother Frank has been here. Let me check the seat. No, no, no. Still <laughs> wet. Oh, God, okay. no, no. Oh, I'm just kidding. Frank. I'm just, just kidding, Frank. Frank. It's a brother <laughs> wet joke, you know. <laughs> Oh, it's a brother wet joke. It's one of those things. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and also, uh, your mother was here on a very early, early I would have been touched, the wet joke. Yeah. Uh, okay. But, yeah. but how, how was it that it's taken you so long to get here? Uh, well, the truth is, you know those pump cars all the way across the uh, work on the road? <laughs> yeah. Well, I, you know, I'm kind of like very tentative coming to the East Coast now and then. Usually, the only time I come is to, for free clothes and to do movies. <laughs> and since you were offering neither, I said, oh, what the heck, you know, I'll wait 10 years. No, I just wanted to see if you really wanted me, so I, I'm, I'm kind of like a slow study. Yeah, well, we certainly appreciate you being here. And let me Actually, guess. I was, I was a little nervous to come on because, you know, in the beginning, you were like this Attila the Hun of late night, you know. You were, <laughs> I mean, there were organs strewn around the stage. It was like something like Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah, but, but you, know, you know why that was? Why? Steroids? <laughs> <laughs> but I learned. That's right. You did no it. No more. No more. Yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> and and you mentioned uh, when you come east, and of course I think now, and correct me if I'm wrong, you're on your way to France. Is that right? This is true. Yeah. What's the purpose of that trip? I am going to get an award. Uh, it's called the um, Legion of Honor Award. Uh, letter to artiste. For people that don't want a refund for my films, and they finally gave me something. <laughs> and then there's a thing called the Caesar Awards, and that's equivalent to their French Oscar. Yeah. Wow. Well, what it is, they, they kind of like mistaked me for Jerry Lewis, and right away, <laughs> okay, I'll take it. I mean, it's, <laughs> I'll lie you. Know, like, well, I'll do it, I'll take it. You know, we had a director on here a couple of months ago, and he's, he was explaining to us that uh, the guy who used to translate the Jerry Lewis dialogue for the French people. Yes passed away at a certain point and they had to start using a different guy and after he died that jerry lewis was not as popular 
as he was before the uh, when the original guy was doing the the translation and we were uh, thinking that perhaps that it was the guy who was doing the voice who was actually very popular and not so much Jerry well you know there's a lot to, there, there is a lot to, yeah, seriously voices play a very very important part if you notice uh, very very uh, famous stars throughout history have always had quite distinctive voices right. I mean that's why they're imitated and I, I think there's something to that yeah um, let's see do we want to talk a little bit about the movie here do we have time to take a look at a clip now or Okay, all right, we'll do a commercial. And then uh, when we come back here, we'll uh, talk some more with our friend uh, Sylvester Stallone. Oh, welcome back to the uh, program. Sylvester Stallone is here. We have Cowboy Junkies with us, a Canadian group. And uh, we have an axe thrower and a lumberjack, Shannon Strong. You ever do any of that? You ever uh, climb any trees or...? No, I've seen a lot of bull throwers, but axes, nay. Yeah, well, it's a very nice young woman, and she'll be out uh, later. <laughs> really nice. Uh, yeah, throw us nice. <laughs> Uh, okay, now the film, uh, the new film opens February, what was the date? 20... 21st. 21st. And yeah. this is you and Estelle Getty, from what I've been able to gather. It is, it is a slight departure. Yeah. You know, she's like my little pocket fisherman mother. You know, she's one of these foldable things. She's very small, but, it, 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 you know, she's riotous. In the film, she comes out and she tries to dominate my life, and I think this clip is, uh, I am a cop who's trying to help a suicide who's about to jump off mm -hmm. a ledge, and then she starts hassling me from the street and almost causes me to jump off. All right. Now, is, is your mother also a cop or a retired cop no. or just hanging around you? She's a nag. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that looks like a lot of fun. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and you're happy with the way the film came out? Yeah, I, I think that uh, we, we've got a film that is, I mean, it's not exactly going to be you know, a cure for any kind of ailment, but it's not bad. Yeah. Not bad. Good for you. Not bad. Uh, how, how many movies have you made? I think about 25, and yeah, about 25 going on. Yeah. And do you know, do you have a rough figure how much revenue those 25 films have generated? It's, it's unbelievable, isn't it? Let me it? see. Uh, it's about 2.6 billion. 2.6 billion? Yeah. Oh my God. And why am I on welfare? I don't know. <laughs> is something wrong with my aging team? I don't know. But now what what do you what is a man now because you you no, get like I didn't pocket that. You no, 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 no. I understand, like, but you're making deals where you get like half the money goes to you. Well, then half goes to spouses and then spouses' wives <laughs> and then their buddies and their boyfriends and it goes down to like S spouses' buddies yeah, get a cut. Like, you know, <laughs> sewage removal. <laughs> That's in the cut. Mama money. <laughs> Palimony. But uh, uh, now, what what do you do? I know uh, do you you collect art. Is that right? Yes, <laughs> I, I am a, uh, a serious art collector. I started actually my it was quite an auspicious beginning. I was driving up Pacific Coast Highway and I saw a finger painting of John Wayne on velvet and said. That's for me. <laughs> that, I, I, I feel that velvet. And I went on from there, and I was taken. And you're taken for a fortune before you understand right. how it all works. Right. Now, can you give us an example of some mistakes you've made in the art world? I mean, are, are they reputable? Or do they say, oh, it comes here, here comes Mr. Movie Guy. Let's go. Well, Let's go I to can't mention him. names, but uh, there have been some situations where literally millions of dollars somehow have been mistakenly overcharged. You know, like, yeah. Excuse me, uh, this is uh, $4 million and, and it cost them like $1.98. <laughs> but, uh, get the dumb Nouveau Riche Italian, he'll buy it. Yeah. Just cover it with sauce. <laughs> Put sauce on it, he'll buy it. <laughs> <laughs> And, and you're driving home thinking you got a bargain there. I got a real bargain. Now, uh, has, has it worked the other way? Have you looked at something and said, somebody says, no, no, this, really, you ought to consider this, and you say, no, I don't like it, and then oh, later you God. find it. I, all right, at, at one time, I, you know, there were a lot of threats, so I had a security fellow with me, a, a real nice guy, kind of like a happy Humphrey kind of guy. He'll, he'll appreciate that. When he gets his, <laughs> his name was Tony. So we're going to look at a de Kooning. At the time, the de Kooning was about $80,000, and again, I had just gone from John Wayne Ninety dollars to the Cooney for ninety thousand. It was a little shocking. I was ready to sign it. I'm gonna take it. Six foot the Cooney and the guy. I go. What do you think, Tony? He goes. Me. I wouldn't put that piece of crap in my dog house. You know? <laughs> oh, hey. My dog. Hey, hey, hey. Who? Yeah. I kill you. You buy that. I mean, he's really adamant. Yeah. And it kind of spooked me. I would say. So I said, I don't want it. Anyway, to make a long story short. That sold for four point seven million. Oh my, <clears throat> my. And Tony is still with us. Tony is floating eastward right now. <laughs> <laughs> a little uh, hole in the stomach. Uh, but now, I don't think it's fair to leave the impression that you're only in it to, to speculate. No, yeah, no, no. I mean, Actually, yeah. you do go to that, air, you know, that, that speculation yeah. period. And then you say, you know what, I'm just going to buy something I like hanging yeah. on the wall. So what I do is I usually, you know, the dog shooting pool, one of my favorites. <laughs> I, I keep it cheap. 
Keep it light and lively, David. You know, you're, uh, not a t shirt. Hey, it's a good way to impress the babes, too. They just boy. Girls well, can dry themselves on your art. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's my kind of chick. Uh, let's see. Um, I can't I can't tell you how glad I am you finally decided to, to come join us in our second decade. Thank <laughs> you very much. Uh, and you're on your way to France. Have a great trip. Uh, yeah, and and you. when you come back, the uh, the new film will have opened. Stop or My, my mom, mom Will Shoot. Or uh, Stop or I Will Shoot My Mom, the on sequel. February 21st. Yeah. Pleasure to see you. Thank you. Thank you, Sylvester. Sylvester Stallone, ladies and gentlemen. We're, we'll be right back. Wait, wait. Oh, come on.